Hey everybody, Zizak here. Uh, I know I've been gone for a while, but hopefully this is the start of a bunch of new reviews. Today we're going to be taking our first look at the brand new Redekai toy line. Now, for those of you who don't know, Redekai is made by Spin Master, the same guys that brought us Bakugan. So today we're going to be talking about this thing. This is the Redekai Microglyph Animation Unit. The Redekai Microglyph Animation Unit retails at about $20, $22, depending on where you go. It is modeled to look like an X-Reader, like they use in the show. Uh, it's actually pretty gigantic. Uh, this isn't probably a very fair size comparison, but here's my 3DS. Um, you can see it's <laughs> the package is gigantic. It's it's much, much bigger than the actual things they use in the show. So we're going to take a look at the packaging real quick. There's a Try Me button up here. I have it turned off right now, though, to save battery. I've also already taken it out of the package and messed with it, so there's actually, in the package, the card that comes with it is right here. I'll show you that in a second. See the front of the package, it does have an actually a uh, very thick plastic screen, so if you want to keep it stored in the box, uh, that will protect it. Animate every attack on top. Just regular stuff on the side. Bring all your X drives to life. The cards in the game are called X drives. The back tells you all the stuff you can do. Illuminate your character and monster. Secures your X drives. Reveals a whole new level of animation. And of course has some advertisements for the booster packs on the back. And as you can see, all it comes with is the unit itself and the exclusive attack card. And the bottom is just a bunch of boring stuff. So before we take this out and look at it, let's take a look at the exclusive card that comes with it. So far, almost every product in the Redekai line comes with an X drive that's exclusive to that product. X drives are again, just cards. The X drive that comes with this is called Ice Spikes. Alright, so let's try and take a quick look at Ice Spikes. As you can see, it's just a red attack, doesn't do anything, 650, power, and it hits the bottom zone. It doesn't cover any defenses, costs 5 Kairu. It's got the same foil treatment as a rare, as you can see, it's got that silver foil. And we can, my camera can kind of pick up the animation. You can see the ice packs just kind of move forward. And the back is like any other card, and its number is... 1ATT3107. Now, as most of you have noticed so far, um, all the attack cards have these weird looking three circles in the bottom here. Well, those are what's called microglyphs. Uh, some of the product refers to them as micro dots, uh, but the cooler name is microglyph. There are certain products in the Redekai line that will uh, project these microglyphs, one of them being the animation unit, the deluxe gold Verticon and deluxe gold metanoid figures, and I believe the basic uh, metanoid figure can project at least one of the microglyphs at a time. So enough about that, let's get this guy out of the box. Before I get it completely out, I did want to show you guys one cool thing about the packaging. You can see up here that this cardboard flap that goes down, it like locks in place. So whenever you close it back up, it's it's not going anywhere. I like that. All right, so here's everything you get inside. You got the Ice Spikes card like I talked about earlier, the gigantic animation unit, and the instructions, which I have, of course, already managed to bend to heck and back. Instructions are very, very basic. Uh, literally just telling you to put the card in there and push a button. You can see those does take three cell batteries. These being the LR44 batteries. Good thing is though, this comes with batteries, so at least for a while you don't need to worry about it. Let's take a look at the actual animation unit itself. As you can see, it's modeled after the X-Readers that the characters use in the show. Albeit, like I said, gigantic. Uh, I do like the gold on it a lot, and I like how the silver is actually uh, that most of you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's like a Bandai Silver. Uh, it's really, really nice. It, looks, it actually looks slightly metal, which is pretty cool. It's got the plastic clear screen up here, which likes to attract hair and dust. 
So maybe if you guys get like a some kind of like screen cleaner, like one of the wipes you can get, you can probably use that on this. As far as features go on this, uh, there are these two Kairu symbols, which I'm pretty sure it's actually the Team Stacks symbol. The bottom one is actually the button that you push to activate the light. The top one is actually still a button, but it does not depress when you push it. I'm assuming it's like that just because for the ease of putting this together, uh, either one can be the button. The only other feature on this thing is the card slot on the right side here. In a, well, I guess it could be the left side. It doesn't really matter which side this button's on. And the last feature is one I like. The side that has the button that does not depress, it's got a little uh, pull here. You put your finger in there and pull out, and it's got a little space to store your X drives. That's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't hold too many. I don't think it's enough to actually hold a full 40 card deck. But it's enough to hold your favorite attacks in there so you can watch them anytime you want. And they actually do have this nice little hole here where you can just push the cards out instead of having to like dump the thing out. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. There's no kind of activation light or anything like that. And the way you know it's on is if you push the button, it's gonna light up. So there's two main ways to play with this thing. The first one is to take any character card or monster card and to just lay it on top of the screen. Then you need to hit the button up here to turn on the light. And it's not gonna do much with my huge hot light shining on it, but it will turn on the light underneath it and it really, really does help bring out the 3D effect of the card. And of course, it's much better to see in person. So let me turn up my light. There you go. It really, really, really helps bring out that 3D effect. Let me turn on my other light and see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, now let's try it. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. And to get it out, there's two little slots on the top and bottom for you to just get your finger underneath and pull it out. Really easy. Now you can also put your attack cards on the top here and do that if you want. It's just not really going to do anything. Only the characters and the monsters themselves have the 3D effect. Attacks just have the animation effect. So the other way to play with this, and by far the coolest, is you've seen the slot and you know the microglyphs on the bottom of every attack card. You slide it in, face up, with the uh, microglyphs going in first. And you push it all the way in, and it will turn on by itself, and... You can see the attack being animated. And my camera is not really good at picking this up, and I'll turn the lights off in a second. That's really cool. That really brings out the stupid little kid inside me. So let's draw some lights. Let's try just one light off here. So put it in. Yeah, my camera isn't too good at picking up fast things. So it looks a little weird, but that's pretty much what you're gonna get. There's three frames that's going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, but my camera seems like it only wants to pick up two of the frames. Awesome. Let's try turning off the other lights. Okay, here we go. And now it's just blinding my camera. <laughs> yeah, my camera does not like it when it's dark. And as you guys saw, once you have the attack card still in there, if you just push the button, it will cycle through the animation again. Now let me do this real quick, because I know some of you are going to ask, what happens if you take the monster card, put it on top, and have an attack card in there? Well, you get this. Not a lot. <laughs> let's try turning off the lights so you can maybe see it better. Now let's try this. You can see it kind of works, but it doesn't, and I'll tell you why. When there's not a card in the uh, slot, when you push the button, you can see it's very, very bright. 
If you look closely, you're not going to be able to see it on my camera. There's three little LED lights in there. When there's no card in the slot and you push the button, it will shine all three at once, giving this very, very bright, bright light. But if you put an attack card in there, let's say upside down, so there's no microglyph, can't really tell on my camera, but it's cycling through three lights very, very rapidly. So because it's doing that, it's not nearly as bright as when you take the card out, as you can see. Card in, card out, card in, card out. So it doesn't really project that attack image onto the monster very well. And just for a quick little demonstration, let's see what some other attack cards look like. Here's Time Shift. My camera really doesn't like to pick up the middle of these attacks, but you can kind of see that some of the microglyphs actually have color on them, which really, really does look cool. Here's Sonic Boom. Yeah, you can see that one a little bit better. It's just this big cloud of explosion. I'm trying to cover up that middle. Here's a Borealis Blast. It's kind of a tornado. My camera really does not like to pick this up. So what are my final thoughts on the Redekai Microglyph Animation Unit? I love it because I'm a little kid on the inside. And I think it's cool that it adds a whole nother level of playability with the cards you already own. I think it's a really neat concept, but there are some negatives about this thing. The lights inside are just a little too dim for me, and that might be fixed with getting some brand new batteries. Another thing is, I noticed on a couple of other Redekai products that the products were already damaged. You can barely tell on mine, but there's a bunch of uh, scratches right here. There's a bunch of scratches in the... really very tiny scratches in the paint all along here. And there's just a lot of bad smudges and scuffs all over it. And it was like that right out of the box. You might be able to see on the button here... Well, it's not going to pick it up, but there's a huge scuff already on the button. And underneath the screen, you can actually see there's a bunch of scratches and smudges and debris inside the screen when you turn on the light. And like I said, this was all brand new out of the box. And probably my biggest complaint about it is it plays the animations way too quick. Uh, almost all of the attacks, you can't really tell what's happening. Um, if the animation would just go a little bit slower to where you could actually have some distinguation between each frame, I think it'd be a lot better. But, what I recommend it. For the Redekai hardcore fans, I would say yes. But if you just like playing the card game in the show and you don't want to spend the money on something that's just going to show you what you can already see, then it's probably a pass. But I think once they start going on sale, then they're definitely a buy. Alright guys, that's it for my Redekai Microglyph Animation Unit review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. And before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Alien Games. Uh, it's a game and hobby store in Jinx, Oklahoma. And they are currently still the only place in Oklahoma to have a league store. So if you guys are in Oklahoma, and you're around the Tulsa Jinx Broken Arrow area, Definitely come by and say hi to us and play a couple of games of Redekai with us. They've got tons of product and they do Redekai leagues every Saturday, with tournaments coming very soon. If you guys want to find out any more information about Alien Games, you can go to the website at myaliengames.com, or for more up-to-the-date news, you can find them on Facebook. Alright, thanks guys. Have a nice day. Pikachu! <laughs> um... Pikachu! A wild Pikachu appeared. <laughs>